Good morning, Superstar First Graders, and welcome to Friday. It is the end of your first week of digital learning, and I just wanted to say good morning. Hope y'all are having a safe and healthy week, and let's go over a few things that are going to be in your packet for today. Okay, so in your packet for today, <clears throat> you can make a journal entry. So I've made a sample journal entry right here. And I'll read it to you. Uh, it's got today's date at the top, 3-20-2020. And it says, Dear Diary, Today I played blank, blank, and blank. The weather was blank and blank. I had blank for breakfast. Love, blank. And at the bottom, that's where you write your name. Um, so when you're writing, you can use this as a template to help you with your journal entry, or you can just write down your thoughts, whatever those thoughts may be. Totally up to you. Okay, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> in math today, we're gonna be working on comparing numbers. You'll, you'll also be working with place value um, and counting. So I wanted to go over comparing numbers. And remember that when we compare numbers, the alligator always eats bigger numbers. So if you look right over here, you see there are two numbers, 30 and the number nine. Which number's bigger? 30. So which one does the alligator wanna eat? 30, that's right. So down here we have the number 10 and the number 15. Which number's bigger? 15. So which one does the alligator wanna eat? 15, awesome. Over here we have 11 and 7 and 45 and 70. So I want you guys to think about that and see if you can figure out which one, the bigger number, which would be the bigger number that the alligator wants to eat. So take a look, see if you can figure it out. I'm going to walk inside. You can see my house a little bit. Get a marker. And you get to see if you were right. All right, so got my marker. Here we go, back outside. Okay, so <clears throat> 11 and seven, which one will the alligator eat? If you said 11, ding, 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 you got it. All right, and down here, 45 and 70, which one will the alligator eat? If you said 70, ding, 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 you got it. All right, cool. So also in math, we're gonna be talking about shapes. Oops, I'll keep it this way. All right, so shapes have two things that first graders need to know about. Shapes have sides and shapes have angles. So sides are these big, long lines of the shapes. They're kind of like the walls of the shape. Sides. Angles are the points where these sides meet. They're like the corners. So think about walls and corners when you're thinking about sides and angles. Awesome. All right, so there's just one more thing I wanted to review with you guys um, that we haven't really gone over in class just yet. And it is time, telling time. So when you are telling time, there's two things that you need to know. The shorter hand is the hour hand the longer hand is the minute hand. That's the first thing, most important thing. And the next thing that you need to know is that, this is very important, minutes go by fives. So when you're counting your minutes, you wanna count them like this. This is kind of funky because I'm doing it kind of reverse backwards and watching on my phone, so yeah, bear with me guys. All right, so. If the minute hand is pointing at the one, that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So the time that this clock is showing right now that I've drawn is 1.15. Because when we're counting time, we look at the hour hand, where is it pointing to? And we look at the minute hand, where is it pointing to? The hour hand is in between the one and the two, always goes to the smaller number. So we know that the hour is gonna be one. And for minutes, we count by five. So if it's pointing to the three, we're gonna count by fives to get our minutes. Five, 10, 15. So that's how we know, looking at this clock, that it is 1, 15. 
awesome. And if you can get that, you'll be really ready for second grade where you're gonna learn a lot more about time. Okay, awesome. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. It's beautiful and gorgeous outside. Um, I hope that all of y'all are staying safe and healthy and washing hands and have a great weekend. Okay, bye.